okay when i was 16 that faithful day my dad actually slept with me and she disvirgined me so after... hold on this is your dad so are you sure he's your real dad yeah he's my biological dad yes my people it does set to not come like this set is the apple now nah, another matter on the ground another day another trouble another problem another confusion and so just stay there for you now this girl cry come say uncle nasco i want to see you uncle nasco i want to see you i want to share my story to the world may they advise me what the girl tell me the matter a shock a shock the girl said she don't even know whether what she do self they wrong all right she did yeah make sure you use her own mouth tell her now so my sister just go straight to your point don't tell us your name tell us your problem that brought you here okay thank you uncle nasco for this platform because i've been scrolling down down my facebook and i saw your pages and the advice people get from the comment section so i decided to locate you all right i want to bring this down i don't know if i'm what i'm doing is right or wrong but i just want you guys to give me a very positive answer if it's right or wrong okay um right from when i was a child my father would be very close to me we've been like we've been very very close so when i clocked 16 years i noticed this closeness was extremely extremely deep so i said okay i love this so one fateful day my mom went to the supermarket because she owns a supermarket okay, your, mom, your mom owns a supermarket yes yeah, she she does okay so i i was at home my dad i'm the only girl out of three children two boys one girl i'm the only girl so okay. and my brothers are in boarding school i'm the last born actually okay. so um i was in the room my dad came inside and he he lie on the bed with me i was like ah like i had to help held his shoulder and all that so he was like my daughter you're so beautiful I, I was like ah dad are you just seeing me for the first time he was like you look then he just he started coming close to me touching me and no guy has ever touched me before so i was feeling strange how old were you then i was 16. okay continue so the next thing that happened was uh, only god knows so tell when, us tell us what happened tell us Okay. The, you, this, uh, you don't come online, so uh, I believe say so you won't talk your story and make you come online. So, no hide anyone, just talk them. Maybe we'll know what you did. So, tell us what you happened when you were 16 years. Okay, when I was 16, that fateful day, my dad actually slept with me and he disvirgined me. So, after... hold on. This is your dad, so are you sure he's your real dad? Yeah, he's my biological dad. Well, now they the matter, so confused me i said because i asked someone at the way he said her papa when she was 16 years her papa do come <laughs> her own father do come when she be 16 years she still be she should not be adult that time. she never 18 years old continue tell her the story okay after that day he he kept on doing it and he kept on doing it and all that so i was like i felt good because he's the only man that has ever touched me so i felt okay since he started it he should just we should just go on with it we should just you felt have good. fun you yeah. felt good your party sleep with you you felt good yeah i felt good i felt i felt strange and good at the same time so um it was how long now so now that they do that thing since that 16 years where you be how old are you now first how old are you now i'm 21 21 years so your daddy has been sleeping with you since you were 16 years to so 21 years. Let me say five years now, B. Yes. Okay, continue. Okay. Um, we've been doing it. Then when he comes to school, like in high because I'm in high institution right now. So when he comes to school, he will lodge in a hotel. Then I'll just tell my roommate that ah, I'm going out to I will be back in a week time. She was like, ah, where are you going to? I said, never mind, I'll go see my dad. We'll be in the hotel room we we'll have fun buy me things like everything i need he gives to me that no guy like any guy that approached me on the road i don't even give them listening ears because my dad gives me everything i want so he don't read though mama he don't read do fire get red fire get red i never heard this story before this one so are they uh, something are they here from distance i never see the person where this is happened to one-on-one -on -one. so you don't find any man attractive 
No, I don't. Just now, my dad. Now, we we'll come up, we'll go come back to the school side. Your mommy for house, your mama, your mama never cash on her. No. For five years. No, she hasn't. How? <laughs> she's always in her shop. And that's she's always in her shop. She can't even find out. Never. She can't. We are smart. You are smart. We are smart, my dad and I. Okay, continue. When you the committee for school. Um we stay in the hotel, get me food, get me everything I want, have sex, do all sorts of things and after that one week, I'll go back to school. To school. Yeah, that you come back to town. Yes, he'll go back. I don't know the lie he gives to my mom, but I just know about me and him. So now like this now, so how do you feel with, as in sleeping with your own dad? How do you feel? How body they do you? But you know what I say you they fuck up. You they fall, you they sleep with your own daddy. Your daddy they sleep with you. Your body know what I say what you do so they wrong. I don't feel what I'm doing is wrong because I feel just ah, like my my roommate. She has actually slept with a lot of guys. I guess ten or more than ten. But me, I'm just my dad. He's the only one I've been sleeping with. So I feel I'm better off than her. So. Oh Bob, oh Bob, oh Bob. Matter, eh? matter, matter. Choke, you choke. So man, you're your dad. How many boyfriends you get? I don't have anyone. It's only my father. Who, ah. Only other night they sleep with you. Uh -huh. Yes, he's the only one. <laughs> so now, so I, what do you want me to people down to do for you now like this? I, I want an advice though, because I'm falling for my dad. I can't even accept any guy, no matter how cute the guy is, no matter how rich the guy is, I can't even accept the guy because I'm already falling for my dad. I don't know what to do about it. Hmm. 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 You are falling in love with your dad. Yeah, I am. And boys, they just, you know, they like them. I don't even have any, any, I don't even feel anything around guys anymore. Like, wait, first, I want to know something. Because my, my mind, they go one side. My mind, they go one side. How rich is your dad? Ha. My dad is rich, oh, ha. He can afford everything I want, everything. He don't, buys me clothes. Don't you think your daddy is using this thing for something as a uh, uh, spiritual? Don't you think so? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, but my father goes to church. Actually, he's he's um he holds um a very strong position in the church. So, hmm. so. Hmm. Hmm. My people, now they hear the matter. Oh, now they hear the matter. So like this now. So what do you want me to do for you now? What will be your what what's your next plan now with your dad? Like I said, I need an advice because I'm actually two months gone. Yeah. What what if it's two months gone? Don't tell me you don't know what two months gone means. Ah, I'm two months gone. I'm pregnant for him. Ho, 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 ho. You are pregnant for your daddy? Mm-hmm, Your yeah. papa, your father gave belle? Yes, he, he, he gave me this. Blood of Ezekiel, blood of Ezekiel. Her father don't give her belle now. You were the, hey God, do I don't want to advise you some pass to blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Okay, now let's run this up because I don't even tell yourself for the interview. Let's run this up. Tell my viewers, tell them what you want. You say you are following me, right? Tell them what you want. Okay, tell them. Okay, I need an advice. I, I need you guys to advise me on what to do because he wants me to keep this pregnancy. I don't know what to do about this. Your dad wants you to keep the pregnancy. Yeah, he wants me to keep this pregnancy. I don't know what to do anymore. So I need your advice. I need you, I need you to tell me what to do because I don't feel what I'm doing is bad, but I need you to tell me. What to do next? Another year round. Another year, the matter of the ground. This guy they sleep with a papa. First of all, if you are just seeing this page for the first time, follow this page. You will learn a lot of things from this page. Go down to my videos and see people confessing. And I, I thank God, all the people confessing, coming to out to say a lot of things. They have gotten help. Except for that girl, we say she they, she get beat for ways. That girl has remo refused to remove that beat. You can go back to my videos and see that video. That girl has refused to remove that bead. Apart from that girl, every other person that has come to this platform to say, okay, they need help. They are going through this, going through, going through this. They have gotten help. Except from that girl. Now, this girl has said she did sleep with her father. Her father sleep with her since, she's, since, since she was 16 years old, she's 21. And she don't get belief for her father now. She's two months gone. Means that she don't get belief for two months for her father now. She's seeking advice. She says she don't know whether she should do something wrong. All right. Now, I'm going to drop advice for her. She's my follower. She, they read all the comments to know what next to do. And in case you are just seeing this post or the uh, page for the first time, follow me, like this video, comment and share this post. 
share this video share this video make other people watch this video may they learn may they see say things they have for this world that's what you just did